Antonio here and this is Antonio with Tech. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the Elgato Key Light. I recently began upgrading my setup and I decided to get one of the Elgato Key Lights for $199. <coughs> yes, I know, quite pricey for one single key light, but it's Elgato, so what else do you expect? For this video, I'll be discussing the following. First, the build, the features, and then the pros and cons. Now, without further ado, let's get started with today's video. The build. Directly out of the box, you can feel the 2.86 pounds it weighs, plastic cover all around, and a smooth finish for the black section, and also the light area. If you're curious about a size, it is 1.18 in depth by 13.77 in width by 9.84 in height. That is just the light, and it also comes with the master mount included. The light comes with three screw holes, and allows you to either place it vertically or horizontally. It's all about preference and the shot you are getting, or how you want your area, or subject to be illuminated. The angle is fully adjustable along with the height, thanks to the master mount which does come in handy. Now the features. The first feature that I find very helpful is the direct Wi-Fi connection. All you need to do for the light to connect will be to download the mobile app or desktop app, which you can find on Legato's website. Once that is downloaded, you'll be able to take control across devices super smoothly and with almost zero issues. It's super easy, it literally took me less than maybe like a minute or two to set all that up and once you turn up a different computer or open it up in a different phone you should be able to control that light if you just left the light on on the actual switch in the light and just control it from your mobile device or your computer then of course the next feature which kind of obvious works with stream deck i'm not going to go into detail about how it all works with stream deck but it takes less than a minute to integrate it into your stream deck commands now the brightness and the color range these are both adjustable. The maximum brightness is 2,800 lumens and offers a color range from warm to cool in the 2,900 to the 7,000 K, which allows you to light people and objects with ease and adjust each individually as you like and as needed. The next feature would be heat resistant. The light itself, even after a two plus hour stream, doesn't really get hot to the touch. You can feel somewhat of the heat that emits from the actual light when you're using it, but it's much less than other lights that I've had before. It's something very interesting to, to see that and to actually feel that, because you can adjust it without having the possibility of either stinging your hand by the heat or even potentially burning some layer of your skin by trying to adjust it. The pros and cons. The pros, the wide spectrum and brightness. This light at its maximum brightness can illuminate a large room with no problem. One light has replaced for me two smaller lights or even some of the larger ones that I used to have, which is super awesome as you can see it back here. So I mentioned the ease to connect is a huge pro just because it's easy to kind of switch between devices and be able to control it without having to just have it in one place or go directly to the actual light to dim it down. So it's pretty straightforward, as I said, a mobile device app or the desktop app and it connects pretty easily. Then another pro would be the compatibility with Stream Deck. Again, pretty obvious. It is an Elgato product and it makes sense that it's very easy and seamless to connect it with Stream Deck and make it easier to add functions and even full on commands with a few touches. Another pro would be the heat resistant factor. You can feel the heat that is emitted from the actual light, but it's much less than other lights that I've used before. And it comes very handy since sometimes you're trying to adjust the light in the middle of a recording or maybe in the middle of a stream, maybe the light changes, maybe it is a little darker or a little bit brighter outside and you're trying to adjust it. And then the first thing you do when you try to touch a light is you kind of sting yourself or even kind of burn a little bit of your hand. And with this light, you don't have that problem. You can kind of adjust it a lot easier than you would with a bigger light that overheats and creates a lot of heat. The slide still, of course, just be careful. Don't try to just, you know, move it around like that, but it's a lot easier to grab it and twist it if you need so during a stream, even after using it for two plus hours. So that's a huge pro for me just because sometimes you do need to adjust the light. And I think it's important that you do have that ability to be able to move it without the risk of injuring yourself. Now the cons. One of the first cons that I found is the size. The dimensions of the slide, as I mentioned earlier, are on the bigger side, especially for a light that is clamped to your desk. For some, it might be an eyesore. If you think it might be too big, maybe just go with the Elgato Key Light Air, which comes with the base and you can just move it around as you like. This one comes with the clamp, of course, and the master mount. To me, it's not a much of a problem. It is kind of like a bit of an eyesore, especially if you're having it in your living room or maybe in a room and you don't want something so big that kind of like that. But at the end of the day, it's pretty easy to take it off if you need so but it really doesn't bother me. I just wanted to explain that since it is on the bigger side for a light 
that is clamped to your desk. Then of course, as always, the price. I mean, the $200 is quite a price tag for a single key light. While I haven't tried many lights and I am by no means a light expert, I think you will be able to find a similar light at a smaller cost. At the same time, there's a lot of features that you will not find in other places and the compatibility with the Elgato Stream Deck. So if you're someone who are looking to have a more cohesive kind of product line, maybe you have the Stream Deck, you have maybe the Wave microphone from Elgato and all the other Elgato products, then this light would be the perfect one just because you're already kind of paying for the Elgato compatibility and the brand reputation. And I'm sure this light would be very durable considering that it is a $200 light but i also want it to be realistic since it is a 200 dollars light but that being said it does come with an included master mount which if you bought that separately it will cost you about 50 dollars just for that so if you take that into consideration you're actually paying about 150 dollars for the actual light which if you compare it to other lights in the market maybe bigger lights that do have less customization you might end up paying less for this light than you would for a different light but I just wanted to say it is upfront for one single light, it is $200. And sometimes you can find something similar for two lights for 200 or 180 or 150. So just take that into consideration when you're purchasing this product or if you're considering getting it. The color customization, and I'm putting it as a cons just because while it does have a wide range of colors from warm to cool, I do wish for a $200 light i do wish that there was an ability to change some of the color features like let's say maybe instead of just having it from yellow to blue the warm to cold color maybe some other lights that you can add additional colors if you wanted to use it like the little light that i have back here that gives me kind of the red tint on the back but that's just my opinion i'm sure maybe elgato at some point will come with something that maybe is a little more expensive that offers that and also i mean there's also always just the strip lights that they offer now so i'm sure they are not thinking about any of those things you're just thinking about you can buy a different product that offers you just that so final thoughts on the elgato key light it's a pricey option that does offer compelling pros and cons would i recommend this light for you it all depends if you want to have just one main light source for your videos then it is perfect if you shoot a lot on the go or away from your desk then this light might not be the best option for you. Considering the price, it comes down to your needs and preferences for lights. That being said, I have found tremendous use for this light and it replaced two floor lights that I was using for my videos, which makes it worth it for me. I'm using it right now in the back, which does eliminate a lot of the video without having to have two other lights in front of me and maybe another one in the back. So it does offer kind of that extra layer of having just one light that is just clamped and I don't have to pull out bigger lights out of a bag and set them up before I can record a video. It makes it a lot easier to record videos like this. That's all for today's video, but thank you for watching. And before you go, I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. So subscribe if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time I post. So with that being said, if you have any questions or thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next video next week. Bye-bye.